Hello, welcome to Nexperia's quick learning video. I'm Aniket. So, in high power systems like e bikes, forklifts, or industrial tools, people often parallel MOSFETs. This is to carry large amounts of currents. But paralleling MOSFETs can be tricky. This is because one of the MOSFETs in parallel can conduct earlier, heat up faster, and stress the system. The system then loses efficiency and reliability. So, how can we parallel MOSFETs in a reliable way? Let's look at some key parameters that can assist in paralleling. The MOSFET threshold window is the difference between min and max values of a MOSFET's threshold voltage mentioned in its data sheet. For a regular MOSFET, this is typically 2 volts, but the newer generations bring it down to about 1.2 volts. Our ASFETs, which are optimized for enhanced current sharing, shrink it down to just 0.6 volts. So, the current in the MOSFET start rising from VGS threshold to VGS plateau, which is 2.5 volts to 4.5 volts. If you look at the transfer curves for the pair of regular MOSFETs and ASFETs with equal VGS separation, the regular MOSFETs can mismatch by up to 50 amperes at VGS equals to 4 volts, while the ASFETs only mismatch by up to 8 amperes. This is due to the softer transconductance of the ASFETs, which means lesser sensitivity to parameter variation and better sharing. Another important parameter is thermal stability. The ZTC point is where the 25 and the 175 degree Celsius transfer curves intersect. Above this point, as temperature increases, the current decreases, thus preventing thermal runaway. For regular MOSFETs, this point is at 250 amperes, which is way higher than the typical operating current. While for the ASFETs, this is just at 10 amperes, which means thermal stability across range. Let's see how these devices behave in a switching circuit. Here are the two device currents which are in parallel with the delta ID that is the current imbalance highlighted. It is the difference in the peak currents of the devices. On the left we see two regular MOSFETs in a switching circuit with a delta ID of 10 amperes with an average of 45 amperes. The devices are tested across a range of load currents. The regular MOSFETs show an imbalance much higher than the ASFETs with about 180 milliamperes of imbalance per ampere of load current with the ASFETs at 90 milliamperes per ampere of load current. We can look at this data differently. We can plot the delta ID that is the current imbalance versus the delta VGS which is the VGS separation between these two parallel MOSFETs. So the graph on the right shows us that a perfectly matched device will share current uniformly. As the mismatch increases in the VGS the delta ID also increases, but the increase in the delta ID for an ASFET is significantly lower than that for the regular MOSFETs, being about 13 amperes per volt for the ASFET while being 26 amperes per volt for the regular MOSFETs. With these enhancements, that is tighter threshold window, lower ZTC, softer transconductance and better delta ID, ASFETs provide a practical and a reliable solution for your paralleling needs. Visit nextperia.com for more information.